A Warner Robins man says his house was broken into while he was away, but it didn't happen just once. Camila Williams spoke with the homeowner about why he now has an extra set of eyes watching his home. Keith Adams' home is on Greenwood Drive in Warner Robins. He was away for work last week, the first time it was burglarized. I had somebody to check on the house, and um, they called me around 11 and said the house had been broken into, that the police were there. And Adams gave us camera footage that shows two different people looking at Adams' home. He says an officer showed up to investigate, found it a broken window. He boarded up the window and left. Later that afternoon, uh, and they had broken into the exact same window. Frustrated after the second break-in, Adams called police again. An officer that time explained, different officer, that they were shorthanded and would try to increase patrol. Not satisfied, Adams asked his friend to house it. Justin Clark with the Warner Robins Police says the neighborhood is fairly quiet. We don't have... Um, you know, an exorbitant amount of crime over there, burglaries, anything like that. With the department already short staff, Clark says police are doing their best. If they're not on calls or being dispatched to calls, then that's when they patrol their um, certain zones that they get assigned to. Since Adams is still out of town for work, he's not sure if they took anything. All the drawers were pulled out. It seems like they did go through the bathroom. It, it almost seemed like they were looking for pills. Based on his video, Adam suspects the burglars were teens, but he's not sure. He wants others in the area to watch out. I just think people need to know, secure your property, lock your windows, get alarms, get videos, um, and be prepared to take a stand. In Warner Robins, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. Adam says he's offering a $500 reward for the arrest and conviction of the burglars. He says that because he wasn't satisfied with the police response, he also called the Houston County Sheriff's Office for help.